right, so are we ready to begin building our paper bag houses? Um, so we're going to use whatever we have uh, on hand. For me, that would be a Redner's Brown paper bag. Um, you might actually have a smaller bag or another kind of bag. This is just what I happen to have on hand, which is what we're basically gonna do today. It's called improvising, which is what artists do all the time when we don't have exactly what we want. Probably would have preferred a smaller bag, but since I don't, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half. And the reason I'm gonna fold it, well, not quite in half, I'm gonna leave a space like that. The reason why I'm gonna do that is so that I know not to cut or decorate there because that's where my roof is gonna go. So eventually I'm gonna build a roof and it's gonna go right there. But for now, what we're gonna focus on is turning this plain paper bag into a house. Now I know that you are at home and you probably don't have all of the cool stuff we have at school. You might not have paper like this, um, but probably your mom has some plastic wrap. Hopefully you have some glue, maybe even some crayons, uh, tape, scissors, markers, any kind of markers. They don't have to be Sharpies. Uh, even if you have just plain glue stick, that will work fine. Um, and if you don't have colored paper at all, um, what you can do is you can do what I call improvising, using what we have. Uh, and you can just use some colors uh, from uh, boxes or things that are gonna be thrown out, such as um, an old treats bag or snacks or something like that. So we don't always need exactly what we're gonna do. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna, we definitely need some windows, we definitely want some doors. So we're gonna start cutting. I'm gonna show you a special way to cut so you can make a hole in it without damaging the entire house and having to retape it. Of course you can do that if you really want to, but I'm gonna recommend trying to do like a little fold. So if you did a little fold like this, and then you snipped like that, you're gonna have a hole on the top. Now that could be the top of the door. And now I'm ready to cut down and over so that my door can open and shut. And there's my door. Might also wanna do a window. How about if I do a window right here? So which means I do wanna have a cutout this time. So I'm going to do a little snip here and I'm going to cut square out like this. And there we go, and there we go. I have a window and I have a door. Now that window is gonna be a little bit, a little bit big, but that's okay because my whole bag is pretty big. So now I have a window and a door. So if I wanted to put a window on the inside so that uh, I don't get rained on when it rains, I might want to use some of this plastic wrap. I'm going to take some plastic wrap and I'm going to close it like this. And I'm thinking about all kinds of other things I could add to my house. I'm not really sure what else I'm going to add. And then I'm going to put it not on the outside. If I put it on the outside, I'm thinking it might make it look not as nice. I think it would look nice if I put it on the inside and then you don't see all the fringe around the side. So I'm going to put it on the inside like this. I have to stretch it out. And if you can see from there, kind of a little bit tricky to do, but it can be done. And then I'm going to tape it. You could glue it, um, but I just think it'd be easier to use some tape and just tap that down. Tap that down. You can use all tape. You can use all glue. Whatever you like, you can color it in, you can decorate it. Love to see some texture on it, which is the look of the feel, the way something feels when you touch it. It has a kind of texturish look. Um, we don't have, don't, probably don't have any plastic texture boards at home. Probably use something else if you have something else or not. Um, so we have like a little clear, clear window there. Um, might even want to put, do I want curtains on there? I could make curtains out of paper towels if I wanted to, right? Um, do I want them white? I could color them in with the markers if I want, or I could just make them white. I'm just gonna, do I want them on the outside? Do curtains go on the outside or the inside? Probably the inside, so I could even put that down also. Tape that in there too. 
And you can use whatever you have on hand. That's the name of the game here. We are improvising. We are making do with whatever we happen to have in our kitchen, in our home, uh, anything that works for you to make your paper bag look like a house is the name of the game. So look, so now we've got some curtains in there so people don't look inside. So hi, I'm inside, okay. Um, and then we can glue things to the outside of the house. Probably don't really want to say redner, so I could use, like I said, um, how about if I make a green stripe by cutting this part out. So I can make like a green stripe out of that if I don't have my bag. And I can make that into like a little thing that holds the window open. I could use maybe if I want purple. I don't know if there's any solid purple on here, but that's okay. It can have words on it. If I want purple, I could just cut out some of this purple and add that to the door make a purple door if I wanted to. I could tack on a uh, chimney. I could tape that in there. I could put the roof on. I can make it any way I want. What I do want you to do is I want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy the process. I want you to make do with whatever you happen to have at home and have a good day.